Hi, this is Digon Plays Batman Arkham Asylum. Um, I'm actually post recording this. I don't know why. It was some stupid idea I had, I guess. Um, mainly because uh, my computer sounds so high. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy a new fan soon, so that I won't have that problem. Anyway, this first part I had to re-record a couple of times actually, because uh, you have to be very careful. If they see you and they shoot you, you're dead, basically. You have to be very careful. This scout and uh, the other guy noticed nothing. Take him out. And there's only two left. And shit, he saw me. That's not good. But we're okay. Of course, I know that because I have already recorded this. However, that was like a week ago. I've been like, sucking at uploading videos lately. I'm sorry about that. But as you can see, when they shoot you, you lose a ton of health. Oh, you wish. Well, anyway, it seems like we reg HP pretty fast too, so... I don't know. And uh, here I'm just walking around aimlessly because basically I didn't know where to go. Uh, you just have to enter the room uh, here, I think. You need to stop this now, before it goes too far. Stop! But everyone's dying to see what I do next. Let him go now. Really? Okay, if you say so, that. Always the pumps. No! And uh, yeah, we can't save that guy. He's dead. You really need to speed things up, Bats. And uh, what I didn't understand here at first was I that you can't get over here. You need to go um, another way first. Uh, I think you need a special tool to get over here actually. Or no, that, that's, that might be another game. Just forget what I said. But yeah, here I'm standing trying to figure out uh, how to get over there when uh, in reality it's uh, pointless. And now I think I realize that I have to go somewhere else to turn off the power. Yeah, I might not talk very much now because uh, it feels pretty awkward recording afterwards, like watching my own video, commenting on it. Uh, I'm not really sure what I even thought about back then, since it was a week ago. Alright, in here... I actually thought they would be good guys first when I saw that they were blue, but then I realized that it was just that they don't have guns. Oh, 
and that red guy is a bastard. I'm not really sure how to beat that guy. It's a real pain in the ass. Maybe not yet, but uh, you'll see. He'll almost annihilate me. You see, nothing happens when I punch him. I was playing an old Assassin's Creed game earlier this day, uh, Brotherhood. And man, I wish the combat was more like in this game. Like, I'm pretty used to play this game now, so I try to <laughs> make the same moves and shit, but uh, yeah, it's uh, really hard to dodge there, I have to say. And as you can see here, I, I don't know. I think you have to like disable him first with a batarang or something. But um, as you can see, I fucking suck here, and uh, I'm getting stressed out because uh, I really don't want him to kill me. Like uh, you see, he almost does, and I have no idea what to do. But yeah, I think this is the way. You have to distract him. You gonna cut me free anytime soon? Patient interview. Pamela Lillian Isley, November 12, 11.33 a.m. Good morning, Pamela. How are you today? Fine. Today is a special day. What do you mean? This is the anniversary of my new life. When I found my true self. My destiny. Are you referring to the event with Dr. Woodrow? Yes. What else? Of course, at the time, I thought Jason had poisoned me. But in retrospect, he did me a huge favor. And why do you believe what he did has helped you? He showed me the bigger world. A world I should protect. Of course, my first offer was rejected. Offer? You tried to kill everyone in Gotham. Yeah, my computer is still going off in the background. I guess it is because I have a couple Thanks. of programs uh, okay? on I'm right fine. now. I eat punks like these for breakfast. What were they doing in here? The ones that weren't hitting me went over there and started doing something to the power controls. I have no idea what they were doing. Looks like yeah. Joker is Shut that shit up. control box. This is going to be tougher than before, but it's a risk I'll need to take. They make it sound like it's something really difficult, but really it's the same thing as all the other boxes, unless you have to do it twice. I don't know, maybe you have to do it twice on the others too, I don't remember. But really, it's nothing special. Maybe it's timed or something, I'm not really sure. Looks like I cut the power but nothing has ever happened to me, anyway. Yeah, you can't go up there. Don't even try. Well, aren't you the persistent one? That's always one step ahead. I'm getting a bit of lag. I don't know why. Just imagine me being carried through the streets, stepping over the corpses of all those innocent citizens. It's going to be glorious, so I can't wait. And now you can walk over just fine. But I don't think we'll be going on for very much longer. I 
I like how the spider waves move when you touch them. And there's the trophy. Actually, that was an accident. I thought it, I was supposed to go that way. And uh, this isn't sus suspicious or anything. These white walls usually... You can blow them up. Uh, I think I'm just waiting for a save point here. And we got one here. So yeah. That's all for this time of Digon Place Batman Arkham Asylum. Have a good day.